love and greetings today's topic is the healing power of forgiveness daya mata ji our ex president said in the hindu scriptures it is written one should forgive under any injury by forgiveness the universe is held together forgiveness is the might of the mighty forgiveness is sacrifice forgiveness is quiet of mind forgiveness and gentleness are the qualities of self possessed they represent eternal value she continues strive to live by this ideal offering kindness and healing love to all then shall you feel god's all embracing love flowing into your own heart forgiveness is that important by forgiveness the universe is held together mahabharat says whenever an unpleasant experience comes to our mind we get disturbed especially the events connected with people arguments misunderstandings frictions difference of opinion backbiting criticism when these things come to our mind we get disturbed we know that we have to forget such unpleasant experiences and relax but we don't we keep brooding over such instances isn't it true the principle is we can never relax until we forget and we can never forget until we forgive so if you want to relax we have to forgive why should we forgive others especially when the other person has committed a mistake when he hurt us there are two reasons one for our own inner peace hurt anger resentment are like poison they disturb our inner peace forgiveness removes that hurt that resentment that anger so when that poison is removed then we become peaceful individuals another reason forgiveness is a divine quality to be practiced by all spiritual aspirants including you and me it is said that he who angers you conquers you it is also true that you who forgives him conquers him he who angers you conquers you it is also true that you who forgives him conquers him we should also remember that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience in reality we are spiritual beings having a human experience really we are spiritual beings for now we are having some 
human experience. The true nature of spiritual beings is forgiveness, kindness. So we have to live as spiritual beings, which is our true nature. I would like to share with you a real life story and how forgiveness helps us. One woman, after marriage, found that her husband was not only short-tempered, he was also cruel. He was beating her very often for very minor issues or sometimes for no problems, no issues at all. He would beat her. For instance, at dining table, if something is, there's something which he, he didn't like, he would throw cups and saucers at her. If he doesn't find his socks while wearing shoes, he would throw shoes at her. For no fault of her, she was bearing all these things. It was going on and on, continuously, day after day. There was so much resentment in her, pain, hurt. She said at some point, she couldn't sit with him, next to him in, in a sofa, because vibrations were so bad she couldn't tolerate. It, was come, it has come to that extent. But still, somehow she was pulling on. At that point, she felt sick and she was diagnosed with cancer. But he did not give her proper treatment. That was his nature, not feeling for others. After some time, having left with no option, she left the home and went to her her brother's house. There in that other town, she was admitted into a hospital and doctors said that the situation is pretty bad. You have only six months to live. And they admitted her. Treatment was going on. Then she thought to her, herself, one day on her bed, what is this life all about? had so many years of bad marriage, ill treatment, pain, hurt, and now this disease. He was responsible. I had to suffer. Then that, when she was praying, one thought came to her. Anyway, I'm leaving this world. Why should I live with so much anger with one person? Let me forgive him, so that at least I would be peaceful. Then she wanted to genuinely forgive him, but she couldn't. Because the hurt was so deep, the pain was so, no, so, it was so painful. Then she tricked her mind. He deserves forgiveness because he had a bad childhood. His culture was so bad, his nature, attitude. So it's not that I'm forgiving my husband. I'm forgiving that man who had a bad childhood. Let me forgive him. He wasn't there with her. But she wanted to remove that ill feeling towards him, although he wasn't physically there. And Next day she would think that, let me forgive that drunkard who troubled me. It wasn't the husband. He was troubling me because he was, he was drunk at that time. So let me forgive that drunkard. Let me forgive from the heart. Like that, no, she would invent reasons to forgive him, thinking that he deserves forgiveness. Day after day after day, when she was doing that, slowly, slowly, she started feeling peaceful at heart. And she really liked it, as if some poison is going out of her system. 
she didn't contact him she didn't write any note to him but and he wasn't there to respond for her forgiveness but still on her own she started forgiving one month two months three months gone she was feeling more and more peaceful and she even told god now i am ready i am almost free from that anger six months gone cancer things were gone she didn't die on the other hand cancer died you know it was in remission just forgiveness because that poison is gone and she was so positive remember he wasn't there to tell him that tell him that i forgive but still it is so powerful that forgiveness should come from the depths of our hearts it's not that if someone makes a mistake i forgive you get lost no don't show your face anymore to me that's not forgiveness forgiveness from the from the heart that that's what she did it exactly that's what she did and <laughs> here i have an anecdote no husband the same other husband not the same husband you know he talked to <laughs> wife he was lying why do you keep talking about my past mistakes i thought that you forgave and forgotten then she replied yes dear i have indeed forgiven and forgotten but i want to make sure that you have not forgotten that i forgave you and forgot <laughs> make sure that you you have to remember it give me the credit <laughs> and that it <laughs> no when one one person who thought that he was a real sinner all along he when he met lord he said god remember not my sins then god said what sins you have to prod my memory i don't remember anything that is god now you sit down and catalog all the mistakes and troubles caused by your son or daughter can you catalog so many times you scolded your son daughter for the mistakes they have done for the troubles they have given you but you don't remember you don't remember because love keeps no record of wrongs this is from bible love keeps no record of thanks in autobiography of yogi when Ga- guru ji met gandhi ji gandhi ji wrote something like this even if the opponent plays him false 20 times the sachagrahi is ready to trust him the 21st time for an implicit trust in human nature is the very essence of the creed of sachagrahi you know 20 times someone troubles you be ready to trust him the 21st that's the creed of sachagrah guruji continues quoting from bible matthew then came peter to him and said lord how often shall i shall my brother sin against me and i forgive him till seven times jesus said unto him i say not unto thee until seven times but until 70 times 7 70 times 7 that is 490 times that means we can't keep track anyway i mean that is the idea any number of times then guru ji said i pray deeply to understand this uncompromising counsel lord i protested is it possible meaning is it possible to forgive my erring brother for 409 490 times is it possible when the divine voice finally responded it brought a humbling flood of light 
how many times oh man do you forgive each of you daily even mother saying how many times oh man do i forgive you each of you daily isn't it true how many times we make mistakes daily divine mother for it's not 70 times 7 it will be 70 times 70 times 70 times and goes on so many mistakes each one of us because in this world it is easier to forget god than to remember him and there starts our mistakes countless mistakes but divine mother doesn't keep track no here is another small anecdote one person was on death bed he knew that it was his time he was introspecting then he found that there was one neighbor with whom he was always unhappy because he troubled him a lot no the hurt was there anger was there towards that person he thought anyway i am now leaving why should i go with so much pain and resentment so let me call and forgive him she called him over then kumar comes he said kumar you know that you hurt me many times i was not in talking terms but now i don't want to carry this resentment anymore i would like to forgive you i no more i forgive you kumar hearing these words kumar also was moved he said thank you so much shyam thank you i also feel relieved now then he was going then he called kumar listen i forgive you only if i die if i continue to live i can never forgive you <laughs> i mean i can never forgive you <laughs> even god cannot forgive you <laughs> i mean that is the understanding you had <laughs> i forgive only if i die <laughs> i mean this is this is the understanding of many people when someone hurts it's my right to harbor ill will it's my right to get angry it it's my right to not to cooperate i mean tit for tat it's so so much ingrained you know in the society but forgiveness is far more powerful far more powerful here is some advice about the importance of practicing forgiveness forgive and live free have you ever carried a grudge for a long time and then finally let it go what a sense of relief it can bring when you decide to forgive you have to experience it forgive again from the depths of our hearts and really erase it from our heart and mind then you feel how how peaceful we feel there is a cleansing and refreshing freedom which comes from forgiveness when you have been hurt does it make sense to perpetuate the perpetuate the hurt no of course not no one would want to do that and yet we are often so reluctant to forgive forgiving someone doesn't mean you must trust them or allow them into a position where they can hurt you again this is important forgiving forgiveness doesn't mean that you put them in a position where they can hurt you again you have to be vigilant forgiveness means simply moving on without that poison forgiveness doesn't have to make you any less vigilant or any more vulnerable 
Forgiveness doesn't mean that what happened was acceptable. Know this. Forgiveness doesn't mean that what happened was acceptable. Forgiveness doesn't mean the other person was right. No. He was wrong. But still, he deserves forgiveness because I want that freedom from that poison. It means that you have chosen to no longer let it hold you back. Guruji said, to forgive doesn't mean to cooperate with or condone evil, but rather to harbor no feelings of hatred or vengefulness nor engage in acts so motivated. There is no real continuing benefit which comes from being a victim. Practice forgiveness and you will free your spirit to live positively each day unburdened by the past mistakes of others. I mean, that is the key. We live, go on living unburdened by the past mistake of others. Otherwise, we are carrying that. If we are not forgiven, if we are thinking, we are burdened by their mistakes. We have to we have to flush them out. If you are able to feel hurt, you are also able to heal that hurt. You are the one who is feeling that hurt. So you should be able to heal that hurt. When someone has angered you, or frustrated you, or annoyed you, offended you or made you feel hurt in some way, you too have been an active participant in that hurt. Knowingly and unknowingly, you too have been a participant in that whole action. That is not to say that what they did was right or that is excusable. It was not and it is not. But we don't want to hold on to it. Still, your best strategy is to get past it. The hurt you feel is all yours to the extent that you have chosen to experience it. Go on experiencing that, go on thinking about it, go on brooding over it, means we are choosing to extend its influence, rather negative influence. What is more important is to understand forgiveness is far more beneficial for you than the person you are forgiving. Remember that. Forgiveness is far more beneficial for you than the person you are forgiving. The longer you delay your forgiveness, the more you are victimized by the original transgression. The longer you delay, that long you are being victimized. So let us forgive and make life more positive, productive, joyful and fulfilling. So it, it is that important, forgiveness, for our own benefit, peace. No, sometimes we have to simply forgive and forget. But sometimes, we need to sit down and sort it out. Isn't it true? Sometimes, unless it is sorted out, it, it goes on. But how do you sort it out? Sit down and sort it out. The key here is, we should forgive the other person before we sit down for talks. If we don't forgive and sit there only to prove that how much how, um, how wrong he was, then it won't be beneficial. First, forgive him from the depths of your heart. Then sit down and try to sort it out. Without that forgiveness, the talks are not going to be effective. Because purity of heart leads to clarity of mind. When that Hurt is not there. When forgiveness is, is exercised, 
it is expressed then heart is pure it's not always necessary to tell the person i forgive you but in the heart i forgive you purity of heart leads to clarity of thought that's clarity of mind remember that let's start here forgiveness takes effort it's not just simple words just forgiving it takes effort and i have an experience long back i had an unpleasant experience with with two persons in my opinion both were wrong and they hurt me that's my opinion of course in their judgment i don't know <laughs> there was some discussion arguments whatever uh, definitely i was hurt i was misunderstood then i went back thought about it yes what can i do now i mean there is no way i can convince them that i am wrong i am correct they were wrong they are not listening but hurt was there because it affected me so then i started reading these words damadas one should forgive under any injury by forgiveness the universe is held together forgiveness is the might of the mighty when i was reading they were mere english words they didn't make any sense to me they were not going inside then what i did is i was i tried to read aloud loud i was reading just to make some sense so every day after breakfast i would go to my office read it twice aloud but still mind would no would not accept how could they do it how could i be misunderstood i did it all in good faith like that it was going on day after day it's not one day two days i i continued to do the read this again and again focusing then again i told why should i judge them it's god guru ji takes care its law of karma all those things i used all the logic i used went on and on and on it took 2 3 weeks to come out of it but eventually it is cleared of course but it took effort it was not one day let me forgive them let me forget about it it's not that no especially when it comes with people with whom you have to live every day you no know? you have to live and move with them every day and this has happened and how it's not easy it was still there that hurt was there negative feeling was there poison is there maybe 2 3 weeks it took slowly 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 i came out of it eventually it was all right of course then this the same quotation made much sense to me okay uh, now i feel better it was interesting to note that some 10 12 years later one of them he collected that event to me and said i am really sorry i hurt you because unfortunately i was misled by somebody else so that's why i hurt you i remember i was living with this what is it with the burden for the last 12 years i have been living with burden today i am having a chance to tell you that i made a mistake it took 12 years for me for him to come out and ask for it but by then i forgot about it completely i had no clue the details also but he remembered it look at that i was living for 12 years free from that burden whereas he was carrying that burden he said i am carrying that burden but initially it took it took a while for me after all of course completely forgot it is it does take effort it does take effort then only it is uh, it's meaningful the real it's not just i forgive you get lost no there is one more thing there is one person all of us have to forgive we have to learn to forget for, forgive one person all of us you know who is that yourself myself you have to learn to forgive yourself i have to learn to forgive myself although 
we are divine potentially we are human beings too we are having human nature and we make mistakes we make mistakes in this world of duality when a mistake happens analyze it and try to forgive yourself because a wise person learns a lesson and forgets the event no learn the lesson forget the experience don't go on brooding over the experience learn the lesson and forgive yourself yes i made a mistake as a child of god i deserve forgiving i would like to forgive myself with the with the thought that i will not make that mistake again i will not make that mistake again but if you don't forgive yourself again you may get into guilt consciousness no that guilty feeling guilty that's not good either or inferiority complex so try to forget yourself almost all religions talk about forgiveness how important it is in christianity the greatest quote forgive them father they know not what they do if you put the context in the right perspective there couldn't be a better better example of forgiveness jesus christ was about to die he was on cross for wrong reasons there that time also you could say that forgive them father they know not what they do i mean that is the ultimate that is ultimate and in another place and sermon on the mount let us forgive as father in heaven forgives us let's forgive and just now we read that 70 times 7 forgiving and there are as many as 49 quotations on forgiveness in bible so many places look at the importance so many instances where forgiveness was quoted no if you go to google which i did you look for quotations on forgiveness i got some you know how many some means 3755 3755 quotations on forgiveness and this one is too much for me anyway <laughs> i mean these quotations came not only from religious people and spiritual personalities it came from people of all backgrounds celebrities social workers political leaders different person they all realize the importance of forgiveness 3755 that was when i i, I looked up after. now it may be more now if you go to google <laughs> it is very important guru ji said jesus was a visible and audible example of the love and forgiveness of god silently and invisibly one creator shows infinite forbearance despite the transgressions of his children every day of every year in a lifetime and for all of each one's many lifetimes since committed by misuse of god given free will so god is forgiving us daily so many times and in so many lives and christ is a visible and audible example of the creator's love and forgiveness and in hinduism bhagavad gita the 26 ennobling qualities of 
devotee. Forgiveness is there. It's one of those noble qualities to be expressed by a devotee. And it is also there in daily life. No. Holy, for example. In Ranchi Ashram, and it's a holiday for us, but that morning, normally I would go around, give colors and sweets to people on duty, like security guards, they are, they are on duty. So I would go around and cooks, office staff are not there, but cooks and security guards like that, I would go around and friends, of course, other brahmacharis and swamis, I would go around give colors and sweets. When I was giving color to one security guard by name Sivajit Nyadav, I asked him, what do you do today? He was on duty. He said, Swamiji, what do I do now? After duty I will go, I will give colors to all my friends and embrace. Because today is the day of forgiveness. Whatever will happen, all we forget. From today we are good friends. With each person, I just embrace. This is security guard. He said, holy, on holy day, it's a day of forgiveness. I embrace. For me, it's only giving tilak and taking sweets or giving sweets. I mean, that's holy for me. But this security guard taught me a lesson. And on this day, I, I embrace and say that what happened? Enmity. He said, use the word dushman, something like that you use. Enmity, you know. No more enmity between you and me. Forgiving. I, I was thrilled to hear that. And in, after Durga Puja on Dasami, and next day, the pro Professor Choudhury, principal of Yogada College, came to our ashram to greet. You know, at the, in the Eastern India, that, that uh, tradition is there. And Durga Puja, or after Durga Puja, Vidya Dasami, people greet each other, they meet elders. And I was greeting him, and he was also, he was hugging, Professor. He said that from today, there is no enmity. Exactly the same thing which Darwan told me earlier for Foli, he is doing it for Durga Puja. You know, you see that connected with the religion, a festival, forgiveness. I forgive. You forgive me. Let's practice. That is there so much ingrained in religion, in traditions. Jainism. Every year, a day is set aside for forgiving. They call it Kshamavani Divas. Kshamavani, Kshama means forgiveness. Kshamavani Divas. And on that day, they reflect on the spiritual progress they made during the year. And the practicing Jains, with folded hands, ask for forgiveness for anything they might have said or done, which could have hurt someone. No, including close relations, neighbors, employees, employers, friends, no, staff, they forgive, forgive. And that day they each other. And no, thus when everyone seeks forgiveness and gives forgiveness, not only the individual, but the whole society is purified. No? Whole society is purified. That is, way, that is why the day is termed as Kshamavani Divas, day of forgiveness. It, it's there in the, in the religion. In all, all religions talk about it. But generally, in religi religious practices mean devotion, puja, rituals, of course food, union, all that is there. But forgiveness also is important part of our culture, religion. Then, two questions come to one's mind when thinking about forgiveness. First question, does he or she deserve forgiveness? Isn't it true? When hurt is there, anger is there, and when you think about forgiving, the, the question comes, does he really? Even God cannot forgive him. 
question comes you know he, that mistake was so serious heart is so deep the question comes does she deserve does she deserve forgiveness the answer lies in another question ask whether you deserve the blessings and relief that comes from forgiving you ask yourself do you deserve the blessings and the relief that come from forgiveness what is the answer yes we deserve the blessings and the relief that means other person deserves forgiveness because forgiveness is far more beneficial to me person who is ben- forgiving than the person who is forgiven all another question you can ask does your son daughter deserve forgiving hey so silent <laughs> so everyone deserves forgiving and you you can, you can trick your mind find ways to forgive when it is difficult when more and more that hurt is coming to mind you you more and more you see for example he says i have received so much in life i received so many gifts from god and guru i received so many gifts in this life the other person doesn't have the other person is in trouble he has that trouble he is lacking this he deserves forgiveness and let me forgive him as a mark of gratitude to god i express my gratitude to god by forgiving one of his children so it's an expression of gratitude to god to ex- to forgive one of his children do that or i need i need to forgive because it is disturbing me otherwise it's disturbing me otherwise no doubt he hurt me maybe i was also wrong use all these tricks all these tricks on your mind so that eventually you forgive from the depths of your heart genuinely for all these reasons i have to forgive and i am happy to forgive it's not a burden so use all these tricks whenever the thought comes whether he deserves forgiving or, or not that's first question second question when is the right time to forgive wait for holy durga puja <laughs> or kshamavani divas <laughs> when is the right time to forgive and answer to this question lies in another question how long we are going to live so that's the answer to the question <laughs> how long you are going to live i would like to give uh, tell you about this uh, short story now one religious leader he was giving a discourse it, it was class was going on and suddenly he stopped and posed a question suppose due to some calamity right now we are all going to vanish we only have a few hours to live because some calamity is coming we just know that calamity is going to strike and in a few hours will all be gone what will you do then then one they thought about it one person stood up and said i will call my family right away and express my love and concern for them where they are living i i love my family but i don't always express in words so today i would like to express right away because i'm going somebody else said that i will call my friend and seek his forgiveness for the mistakes i have done third person said i will call my brother and forgive him yesterday we had a bitter argument that still paining me i would like to forgive him okay. that 
then that religious leader said these are all very good things do it now don't wait for a calamity to strike you that's the thing <laughs> do it now don't wait for a calamity to strike you don't wait for indication that you are going to leave this yet then only you have to do this no do it now so that's it let's not postpone this spiritual virtues to be expressed in our daily life right now let's forgive there, there is so much there is so much people need need forgive people need sympathy people are looking for that kind gesture there are another real life story i would like to share one person very efficient he was an editor very efficient person at work he got a new job as chief editor he was very happy he took up the job but he was always short tempered he was aware of it then the very first day in his office he called all sub editors he is the chief editor he called sub editors and he was talking informally then one the sub editor got up and shot a question said sir in case i have a difference of opinion with you what should i do this chief editor was so upset if you have a difference of opinion with me you are better leave this place i then he said he felt very bad <laughs> because he was there for the first day <laughs> other person was working for years he says that it's a new system if there is a difference of opinion how should i resolve he genuinely is asking a question but he was so sh- short tempered he didn't have enough time to think the consequence is short that you, you can better leave then he went home and that day he felt very bad why this is not happening for the first time this this short temperness is killing me why why i am like this 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 cannot be done i am new person there i i, I could not have said this as a matured person then he analyzed why i have this problem then he analyzed and found out something god helps when we are really genuinely introspect introspecting god helps that then came to surface that all his life he was angry and unhappy with one person that was his father he was never happy with his father he was angry with his father then he said my father died some 10 years back even now there is pain there is anger so let me forgive let me forgive him he wasn't there to forgive but still he is angry with him he realized that much so he again that father because he did not give him proper education when he was a child the reason reason was that this father himself was not educated he was living in a slum father and he was all his life he was a drunkard and doing all odd jobs etc so never cared for family he would come and beat the child instead of giving good education i mean he had all bad memories bad memories with father because he was a drunkard i mean he, he was such a poor poor man financially so he is is brought up like that so he that again he said that i am forgiving not my father i am forgiving that unfortunate person who didn't have education uneducated person let me forgive next again again day after day it's not one day and father was not there to forgive to write a note but still he forgave he was drunkard unfortunately because of circle he was maintaining friend circle he, he became a drunkard alcoholic let me forgive that drunkard like that ah uh, one by one he completely forgave him and eventually that poison of anger and hurt has gone out of his system and he became normal he became normal 
we could see but it takes time it takes time one woman she was elderly she was on painkillers there was some pain in the body painkillers she was regularly morning and evening she would take to live this is a real life story and at some point there some something developed in her body which needed surgery surgery was required okay doctor said that okay i will post surgery for such a, such a date but two weeks before the surgery you cannot take painkillers some complication if you take painkillers you won't be ready for the surgery painkillers you have to leave she didn't know i mean the thought of not having painkillers painkillers morning and evening it, it was uh, you know frightening i how could i live how how could i live without painkillers but she has to and she had to leave to be ready for the surgery then one thought came to her okay let me other source may be in pain physical pain or mental pain or some other pain is there let me be sympathetic to them she started writing notes notes not only to friends even to people who some somehow or other affected her life or gave help to her like visitable vendor she would write a note the visitable vendor that thank you so much for years you have been supplying good visitables to me without your help i had to walk so long whereas you supplied door delivery like that she would find a reason to thank him barber how barber helped her and then people who hurt her i forgive you and i appreciate so many things you have done and mostly it was a note of thanks to many people simple people neighbors plumber electrician they serve us we forget we just give them money and that's all no no word of appreciation generally so she started taking notes and seeking for giving for, for to whom she from whom she hurt and for being others like that she went on writing so many notes every day so many people were there in her life whom she completely forgot never recognized their existence no took them for granted so as she was writing this note slowly slowly she forgot about her pain she wasn't taking painkillers those days those two weeks this how she spent her time and two weeks gone she had surgery a successful surgery but how did she face the situation by forgiving and by appreciating appreciating the services of many people so many people help us in different ways in our lives you know that that is how that's how for instance we take a taxi at the airport or railway station we come home and get off the taxi and pay him the money and walk into the home i mean deal is done no one can question you because you paid the taxi fare and you got up but at the same time when you pay the money you just look look into the face of the taxi driver thank you so much all the road was bumpy the ride was smooth you were very careful it was raining without you would have been got stuck somewhere timely help you have given just one or two words no the same thing same deal but that would make his life very you know very meaningful no there is another no you must heard about what's norman vincent peel i think once he went to a shoe shop to purchase shoes 
he purchased and then after he selected the shoes and that person sales person he would write a bill and you have to pay the bill and collect the shoes while he was writing the bill he he just looked at that him and said that how beautiful the handwriting when he was writing the the sales person just looked up and his face lit up what does it mean that means i am not here a part of the furniture here i am a human being i am i am doing some work so my handwriting he recognized you know that the power of unexpected compliment and he is face lit up that his existence is recognized and how much it costs us extra to do that because we we take people for granted just unexpected compliment you know you made my day so that is important that's important so one is unexpected compliment complimenting people who have helped us in many ways other thing is forgiving people genuinely let us forgive each other as father forgives us every day we are also making making mistake means not only getting into bad habits or physically mentally hurting others they are mistakes even forgetting god is also a mistake forgetting our real divinity is is a mistake that we are doing all the time every day but god doesn't mind he is forgive us so let us forgive others even if they don't fulfill our expectations but well, that's where we are hurt because they don't fulfill our expectations then we are hurt they are busy with their own because we are not fulfilling god's expectations so let's forgive even if they don't live up to our expectations that's very important now i would like to close with a with a short exercise this is visualization now each one of us we close our eyes and take 2 minutes and forgive just one person or at most two persons who hurt you or one or two persons who you think are making mistakes they are not right whatever they are doing so you forgive them one person or two person other if you take many persons means like it gets diluted really focus them at your kutasta that person is surrounded by god's healing light which includes god's forgiveness you also add your own thoughts of forgiveness forgive him genuinely that person visualizing here one person or two persons if you can't readily think of anyone who hurt you sometimes you know no one hurts you then you forgive me i may have hurt you knowingly and unknowingly i may have disappointed you you know <laughs> sometimes i may have disappointed you you please forgive me so let's all do it normal meditation posture look up what is that visualize the person or persons whom you would like to forgive from the depths of your heart
ओम शान शान शान